Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the geometric transformation called a rotation. And rotation just means turning an object around a fixed point. And usually that point is going to be, I'm going to say usually, that point is going to be the origin. That's the, that's the rotation point. That's the point we're going to be turning our figure around. So let's take a look at how we would do this using one of these transparency uh, papers with a set of XY axes drawn on it. So Asik says, example one, it tells me rotate this triangle ABC, rotate triangle ABC 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. Well, clockwise is going to be this direction. And 90 degrees is basically going to be a quarter turn. So I'm going to take my triangle, I'm going to rotate it a quarter turn, 90 degrees. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my transparency down on my set of XY axes. I'm going to line them up here. And then I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to just draw my triangle on my transparency. So I'm going to start with these three points. And once I got my three points, then I want to take my ruler and just collect connect up these three points here. Alright, so now I have my triangle and let me go ahead and also label these points here. This is point A, this is point B, and this is point C. And now I've got my triangle copied on my transparency here. And I want to rotate my triangle 90 degrees around the origin. So I'm going to kind of pretend like I've got a, a pin or a thumbtack or something stuck right here in the origin. And I'm just going to rotate my set of axes 90 degrees clockwise. So when I'm done, Again, I've got my origin right here. I've got my axes lined up, so I've rotated 90 degrees. And I can see that my new triangle now is, I can see it on the transparency. There's my rotated triangle. And what I want to do is I want to kind of peel up my transparency. I'm kind of holding it down with one hand. And I want to, I want to draw these points on here. I want to plot points A, B, and C, these rotated points, on my paper here. So point A goes to this point. I'm going to go ahead and call this A prime because that's my rotated point A. Point B becomes B prime, that's this point right here. And point C becomes C prime, and that's this point right here. Now, again, I take my ruler and I connect up these points A prime, B prime, and C prime. And here's my rotated triangle. I've just rotated triangle ABC 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. Now, I want to go ahead and write in my coordinates for my original points A, B, and C, and also for my rotated points. So my coordinates for point A, let's see, A is negative 1, 1, B is 2, comma, 4, C is 4, comma, 1. I was given those points. A prime. Let's see, a prime is 1, comma, 1. I'm just reading this off of the axes here. b prime is 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 2. And c prime is, let's see, 1, negative 4. All right, now I would like to come up with the algebraic rule for this particular rotation. And so let me see, point a which was negative 1, 1. That rotated to point A prime. And let's see, A prime is 1, comma, 1. All right, point B. Let's see, B was 2, comma, 4. And it became B prime, which is 4, negative 2. And C, 
4 comma 1 became c prime which is 1 comma negative 4. So now what I would like to do is I would like to just write down you know the general rule for this particular rotation. In other words if I take any pair of points, any set of x, y coordinates, what do I have to do to them in order to get the rotated points? If I'm rotating them 90 degrees clockwise, well, what do, I, what do I have to do to these coordinates in order to get the rotated coordinates? Well, when I look at my x and y coordinates for these three points, and I look at what happened to those coordinates after I rotated them, it looks like all of my x values, they got moved over to become y values, and yet the signs are different. In other words, this value right here for B, my original uh, X value for B was a 2 and it moves over to the Y value for B prime and becomes a negative. Same thing for this one. That 4 moves over to the Y position and becomes a negative. For my original Y values, it looks like they just swapped over to the X position and that was all they did. So it looks like if I have two points X and Y, just two general points, if I rotate if I rotate a particular set of points, a particular point 90 degrees clockwise, it looks like my algebraic rule is going to say, well, my new x coordinate is going to be my original y coordinate, and my new y coordinate is going to be my original x coordinate, except I'm going to multiply it times negative 1. 